We are going on an adventure today. It is December 24th. And yesterday I did not get a chance to upload a vlog because I broke my streak. Um, I accidentally uh, formatted my <laughs> camera, which had all the footage on it. So I lost essentially like two days worth of footage. Anyway, that's why I missed yesterday. So I'm sorry if you were expecting a vlog yesterday and you didn't get it, but we have errands to do, AKA last minute Christmas shopping and last minute grocery shopping for Christmas. So let's go. Okay, my last minute shopping adventure has begun. First stop is Costco. Apparently they still have um, the series 741 millimeter in stock. I might get that from my mom, but I'm gonna see what kind of jewelry they have first. Okay, I am down at Costco. I uh, ended up getting my mom an Apple Watch which I don't think is gonna spoil the secret because I'm pretty sure my mom doesn't watch my videos. <laughs> um, but I am just gonna do a quick little grocery shop. It was actually very quiet at uh, Costco today. I think it's, well, it's Chris, technically Christmas Eve, but I mean, it is also still technically a work day. So as long as I get everything done before noon, because usually if workplaces are gonna let their uh, staff have the day off, it's in the afternoon, so um, plus, Chloe has a half day at daycare today, so I gotta get all this stuff before um, I gotta go pick her up. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm in the Bose car, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, because I think he was trying to change, or uh, yeah, change, switch out my windshield wipers, but then he got halfway done, and I didn't know where he left off, and I couldn't figure out the pieces, so I just took his car. Um, anyway, yeah, so grocery store, and then I, I think I'm done. I think I might try to get, I actually don't have a stocking for Chloe yet. I've been trying to find one that kind of matches the ones that the bow and I have. Um, but the last few years we haven't even really done stockings, you know, pandemic and just, yeah. Um, but I wanted to get like a few little things for her. We'll see if I'm successful in finding a stocking for her. If not, I don't know, I should throw her in a bag or something. Okay, Costco number two. So I was looking for a necklace at the other Costco that I saw a couple weeks ago. It matches my bracelet. They don't have it anymore, but I think they should have it here. They do. Okay, that was such a success. Um, I'm, I'm home because I want to switch cars because yeah, my car's just a little bit more comfortable to drive. I mean, driving a stick is really fun and the Bose car goes really fast, uh, but just for errands, it's just not as fun as just driving a regular automatic vehicle. So I'm home to switch vehicles. We're hosting my parents potentially at our house tomorrow. Um, we're going to the Bose parents tonight for dinner and then yeah, my parents are gonna come over here for dinner. Um, we're gonna keep it separate so that we um, yeah, don't have too many people in the same house at the same time. Um, but that means I have to make something for lunch tomorrow. We're not doing your traditional uh, Christmas meal, uh, so we're not gonna have like a roast or turkey or something. We're gonna have noodles and shrimp instead. Okay, I'm uh, at the grocery store. It's an Asian grocery store, and uh, oh, I bought everything I need. Okay, I'm home. Um, I don't have time to show you my haul before I go pick up Chloe, so I'll do that later. Um, I'm also hoping to wash my hair because it's really gross <laughs> and really oily, so I think I might do that now um, and then pick Chloe up. Okay, we're currently riding a train around the mall. We had a lot of fun on that train actually, it was pretty, it was pretty fun. Um, so I'm currently just making a couple of like little tree, treats, goodie bags, basically a bag of cookies that we're going to give to some of our neighbors. So I got this little 
uh, set from the dollar store. So it's a cookie bag. So it comes with a little face and then a, a cellophane bag. And then I also got these little cards, which put like a quick little Merry Christmas on it. And it even comes with ribbon, but I think I might have some more festive ribbon. Um, anyway, so I, we have this tray of cookies right here that we are just gonna divvy up um, into a few bags. I found some more ribbon. I knew I had some lying around. Okay, this is what one looks like. So there's a, an assortment of little goodies in there and then we just tied this um, little gift tag to it. Okay, we are home. Uh, Chloe is down. Um, we just came from uh, the Bose parents' house and had dinner there. It's Christmas Eve. Um, and we got a few gifts, so I'll show you um, what we got from them. And I still have to drop this off uh, tonight, hopefully, if not tomorrow morning. Chloe's uh, auntie got her <laughs> these uh, tattoos. And they're very fun. Maybe we'll do one tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to uh, make the fruit salad first, and then I'm gonna wrap the gifts um, and tidy up a little bit because my my parents are supposed to come over tomorrow for Christmas Day lunch. Um, plus, I need to make room for Chloe's new toy, which I will show you also. Um, on a side note, this is um, something that my sister-in-law got us, which is kind of like an Italian themed gift basket, um, which is great because yeah, the bow is like absolutely obsessed with olive oil. So yeah, nice little, and there comes a, like a little uh, colander and also some wooden utensils. So very fun. Um, I also got this cute little bracelet. Um, it actually matches my shirt very nicely. It's like a really pretty um, pink color. So yeah, um, the Bose mom also got me a jade one um, also that I actually don't really wear that much, um, but I, I wanna kinda just mix up my little stack here. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'm gonna bust that out. I still have it, obviously. And Chloe also got this fun puzzle set. Um, and there, it comes with this book. I believe it's a coloring book. And she was having the most fun just uh, flipping through it and pointing out all of the things that she knows. <laughs> I'm going to make the fruit salad now. Um, it's very simple, I'll show you, show you the ingredients. Um, I'm sure you've seen me make this in a previous Vlogmas. It's very easy. So the first thing is this uh, sugar palm uh, fruit. And this is also, well, I call it kaong because uh, I'm Filipino, but it's, it's sugar palm. And then we have the nata de coco, which is like the coconut gel. This one's my favorite. We have pineapple bits for fruit. And then we have the very cherry uh, fruit mix. And then the binding agent we use is condensed milk. I think my Lola used to use um, evaporated milk and condensed milk, but I find this is perfect and it also I guess lasts a little bit longer because it doesn't have that dairy in it. First step is to open all of these and drain it. Okay, all the fruit and everything is in a container, which I have drained. I'm now going to add the condensed milk. Um, I've just left everything in one container, but I'm gonna mix everything here and take some out and put it in a separate container for my mom to bring home with her. Okay, I popped that in the freezer. We actually have um, 
a standalone freezer downstairs in her basement uh, so yeah because it definitely would not fit in this freezer here um, so it should be ready to go for tomorrow and now I have the arduous task of tidying up um, the bow actually got his booster today um, and we've all we've all been kind of feeling a little bit under the weather as you guys saw in my last vlog was me not feeling so hot which kind of attributed to um, me not um, doing so well with the vlogging um, but yeah he is not feeling today well today um, partially because he has a bit of a cough partially maybe because of the booster and just feeling a little bit malaise so yeah I have been tasked with uh, tidying up <laughs> so funny um, how holidays become the perfect excuse to gift confectionery. We have so much boxes of chocolate um, just from gifts that the book, mostly gifts that the bow has received and then you know some things that um, maybe some of our neighbors have dropped off but yeah it's just like so funny. So this is just a little a little sample of all the ones that we've received. Okay, I was going to finish my latte, but I'm actually gonna go drop off um, our, our little like gift for our neighbor. It's just like this little thing of treats. It's not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna drop it off on their doorstep. Um, I'll show you the fruits of my last minute gift buying excursion um, when I get back. I definitely should have used an ember mug because that latte is cold. Okay, I am back and I will show you what I will be wrapping up. Okay, first of all, this is the wrapping um, paper I got while I was at Costco. Um, it is a huge roll, I'm pretty sure there's two of them. And it also comes with 12 um, of these tags and 12 of these ribbons. So yeah, excited about this. And it's actually double-sided. So technically it's four different patterns in two rolls, so nice. Okay, so for gifts, um, so we got Chloe this um, Dyson Cork Free Vacuum from Kasdan, as you guys saw in my previous vlog. So this is a gift from uh, Mama and Bubba. And then this gift is from Santa, which is the Slimy Goop Slimy Sand this is also from Costco, um, but yeah, she loves like sensory things like that, so I think she'll really enjoy this. I'll show you the bigger gift that we got her too that we're not wrapping because she's actually already been playing with it, but it's a pickler. I just folded it up, but I'll insert a picture here of her playing with it. Um, but she loves this thing. She loves, she's very active. She loves climbing. And so one of our neighbors actually made this for Chloe. So um, it's not his day job, um, but he was showing us photos uh, of one that he made for, I think his nephew. And so, yeah, I asked if he would make us one and um, yeah, so he actually just delivered it the other day. So just in time for Christmas. And then we also asked for a ramp to be um, made for it too. So yeah, excited about that. There's definitely not a lot of space in our um, living room for it right now because our Christmas tree is there. Uh, so definitely a little bit more space once that's gone. My dad never really wants for anything, so I always get him socks. So these are um, heat holder socks. I got it from Costco. And then I also got him this. This is not normally the flannel shirt that I get him. I literally get him a flannel, sh flannel shirt every year. This is slightly different. This one isn't as insulated as the one I normally get him. This is more of a sweater material. Um, but yeah, hopefully he likes it anyway. I'll unbox tomorrow what I bought for myself. And then for my mom, I bought her an Apple Watch. So um, this is the Series 7 41 millimeter. I was debating what to get my mom for a while. So this is a very last minute gift. I was thinking about getting her an Apple Watch to replace the one she currently has because she has like the original Apple Watch. Um, but I just wasn't sure because my mom is very much an analog watch lover. Um, so I wasn't sure how much use she would get out of it, but I think if she had a newer version, she would probably use it a little bit more because the battery is better, etc., etc. So yeah, I got her that, and by the time I decided I was going to get her one, 
um, the wait for online ordering was way too long. It would come like mid-January and um, I wasn't able to pick it up in store. They were all sold out in store. And so, um, yeah, I tried my luck at Costco and lo and behold, they have tons. Uh, they don't have any more online, which was my original, um, my original plan was to buy it on Costco.ca, but they didn't have any. But then, yeah, I found it in store, which is lucky. So no wait time and it's exactly the one that I wanted to get. I forgot to show you Chloe's gift for the bow. They are, Chloe got the bow, these. So they are these tall um, double walled glasses. Um, so for they're hot and cold. And yeah, you guys know we're obsessed with our espresso machines. So I decided to get one of these. I'm probably gonna just do a time lapse of me wrapping these gifts while I watch uh, Emily in Paris season two. I've already binged like seven episodes, so I'm down to like the last three, which I'm trying to save her, but it's so hard because it's just so cheesily good. <laughs> battery died but I'm all done wrapping the gifts so since today is going to be officially the last day of vlogmas I'm going to uh, finish opening our advent calendar okay I haven't done 23 which is yesterday oh I think it's another little eraser <laughs> he's really cute 24 which is today what is this Oh, they're stickers. They just are in a roll. <laughs> and then we'll do 25, which is technically tomorrow. Ooh. Some little pens. Overall, out of 10, I think I would probably rate this calendar an 8. Borderline a 9, because it was also very inexpensive um, I think I paid what $15 for it and uh, yeah I got some pretty cute stuff uh, so yeah probably let's do an eight and a half I'd rank, rank it an eight and a half out of ten for value and then also um, the items that I got um, some of them were a little bit weird uh, but oh yeah it is just like a roll of stickers really fun anyway this marks the end of vlogmas 20 21. I was going to say 2022 for some reason. Um, I haven't done my q and I have to do that kind of all over again because it was part of the footage that I accidentally deleted. I didn't get a chance to today, but I am going to do at least one more vlog before the end of the year because I will continue vlogging tomorrow, which is Christmas Day, and the few days after that because um, I'm off. Uh, I have a stat on the Monday and Tuesday because Christmas and Boxing Day are um, on the weekend this year. So there will be some vlog content after I conclude today's Vlogmas video. It just won't be daily. Um, so I'm gonna, uh, so I will include that Q&A as part of that vlog. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this vlogmas series. I managed to only miss one day, which is pretty impressive for me. And yeah, we're all feeling a little bit better. So thank you for the well wishes. Um, I got a few messages on Instagram actually just wishing me well, I guess, because yeah, I didn't um, post anything for day 23. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed watching again this, this vlogmas series. It was pretty fun to do. I always find it challenging to do the Vlogmas videos or basically any daily videos, especially um, you know when I'm working. I have a couple of videos lined up before the end of the year. I'm hoping to get my Apple Watch review and then also, of course, my 2021 favorites video will be up uh, probably on 
1st, if not um, January 1st, 2022. So you will likely be watching this on Christmas Day, in which case I am wishing you a very, very, very Merry Christmas. I hope you are having a wonderful holiday season if you celebrate Christmas. If not, I hope you're just enjoying a wonderful weekend with you and your family. And I will see you all before the new year, but just in case you end here. And I will see you before the new year, but just in case this is the last video you watch, um, I hope wishing you a very happy new year too. I know for many of us, 2021 has been a bit of a whirlwind and I can't even imagine what 2022 will bring, but nonetheless, I'm looking forward to seeing what this new year has to offer. And on that tangent, I wanna thank you again for watching Vlogmas 2021. I hope you are safe. I hope you are healthy, I hope you are enjoying the holiday season, and I will see you next time.